Hey, come on in. But bro, we haven't do intro yet. Bro, do intro so many times already. Still wanna do me? No need to do lah. Come, come, come. Raining outside, so we can't do it. But anyways, when it's raining, JNA Real Estate still has to produce our content, still have to carry on our home tour. And today we are back in the East, and where I'm standing on right now is actually on the third floor of this condominium called the Asparis. It's a three bed, three bathroom unit, one more square feet, very big unit. Okay, let's take a look first. Okay, so before you hit in, before you hit in, back up, back up a bit. Where I'm standing on right now is actually where the walkway is, right? To the left, this is where the DB box is, and you see. This place here, there's even a spot for you to sit down and wear your shoes there. How rare is it to find nowadays? Come on, let's take a look at this place. Okay, so first thing you're going to notice about this entire unit here is that it's vacant. Initially, this unit was tenanted. So if you want more conceptualization of this entire place, just connect one of our salespeople. They are going to give you a 3D rendering of this whole place, right? But the first look at this entire space, you will see how spacious, how brightly lit it is, right? So to my right here, even though there's no feature wall, you can look up. The owners actually have done cove lights for you to just brighten up and illuminate this entire space, okay? So before we head into the main living hall, right, let's take a look at this dining area. Okay, to the left, this area is actually where the uh, kitchen is. This place here is actually a six-seater dining set. How rare it is. In the three-bedroom apartment nowadays, you cannot even find a dining table like this, let alone six people. You want to put up to eight, no problem. One chair here, one chair behind. And there's even a sitting area here where you can flush your table here and just use it as a bench to host more guests. Nor want to play a game of poker, play some mahjong, this space is also good for you. Okay, let's take a look at how this entire apartment looks like. Alright, so where I'm standing on right now is where the main living hall is. This space here is extremely uh, spacious. You can see there are actually two Fujitsu aircon in this living hall, so it cools this entire space. Nowadays, the weather very hot, even though raining outside, I also feel very hot with my, my, with my jacket, so I definitely need two aircons on. La. But if you are, you are going to shift in, right, don't worry. You know why? Because it's new. So you don't have to spend too much money, okay? So what the owners have done is that they have placed a couple of shelves here for you to display some of your accessories or some of the things you just want to show off to your guests, right? But this area here is where the TV console is. And if you want to put up to a 65 inch, I don't know whether it's there an 80 inch or even a 100 inch television, no problem, you can fit up here, right? You want to do our feature wall, no problem at all. And this currently here, we don't have a sofa set because as I mentioned, it's a vacant unit, but we actually put a three-seater couch here for you to visualize a little bit more, right? So if you want to extend this sitting area out to make it into a five or six-seater, you don't have to worry, you can do that. You have guests here, you can fit a lot of people here. Right, nowadays, three-bedroom apartments, all that we have seen are slightly smaller, but this three-bedroom apartment is 1184 square feet. It's huge, okay? And this area here is actually where the planter is. You have the sliding door here, and it overlooks actually a tree outside, which means that there's a greenery view there as well, okay? And if you want to see some birds, right, the trees out there, also you can see some birds perching there in the, in the night, in the morning, anytime you want, right? And some of y'all may be worried that, hey, if there's a planter here, what will actually happen, right? You can actually do up a tile, a tiling, put some planks, and even it out so that it can be a small balcony space for you as well. Okay, let's go and take a look at how the kitchen looks like. Let's go! Hey, ready. never tell me I video me playing with the dog. Hey, it's not going to be recorded, right? No, it's not. Don't sabo. Ah. Okay, recording ready? Yes. Okay, so hi guys, welcome to the kitchen. Okay, so as you can see, this kitchen is actually separated to the dining area with a very nice sliding door. If you want to do it in a very grand and luxurious glass door, don't worry. You have the space to do that, right? Come on in, let's take a look. Okay, so this entire space here, you can see that it's a warm white concept because what the owners have done is that they installed three very beautiful spotlights that illuminates this entire space. A very modernly designed. Yes, you have all your cabinets here, everything that's normal. You have an open stove, you have a cooker hood, you have a space for you to put your fridge, you even have a very good space where your sink is, where you can put your dishes, plenty of space for you to do your, or put all your appliances or anything when you're preparing food. So many tabletop for you to do everything, right? And what I love about this kitchen, right, as you all know, is that nowadays kitchen is very hard to find a yard area like this, right? This yard area is open, so there's extremely a lot of ventilation for you. You have a chute here, a rubbish chute here, so you don't have to walk all the way out in newer condominiums to throw your trash, right? You can just throw your trash here. You have a WC inside, you have a storage room here, and a designated space for you to put your washer and dryer. Okay, enough of me already. Let Greg show you how the other parts of this property inside. Let's go. Asmin, I heard today Jervis was very casual with this filming. Huh? Yeah, no. he said he wants to make it more fun. Hmm. Should I make it more fun? Alright, let's make it more fun. Come on, welcome to the first common bedroom of this unit. So I think 
You know, since we're gonna make this a casual shoot, I'm just gonna tell you what are the things I love about this room. First of all, I think compared to all the other newer projects, this room is a very, very good size. And the good thing is, all the rooms over here, it has the same greenery view as your living room. So it's really bright, it's really breezy, you can fit in a queen size bed. And as you can see over here on my right, the owners actually place a very nice floor to ceiling height shelving. So you can put all your awards, your accolades, all your kids' achievements and trophies right here. Alternatively, if you want to use this as a study room, it's perfectly doable. And to my right, if you want to use it as a bedroom, you have all the wardrobes, floor to ceiling height as well, all ready for you. So let's go take a look at the second bedroom. Let's go. So now we're in the second common bedroom of this unit and I think a lot of you owners are gonna be like, hey Greg, you're right here. There's this very weird odd looking shape, but this is not awkward, this is unique. And why do I say so? Come on, follow me a bit. So on my right over here, you can see there's this very unique looking shape and right in front of you here, there is this very big size window flushing in lots of natural light that brings a lot of ventilation and brightness into this room. So why do I say that this space here is unique? First of all, you see the bay window space here. You can put a lot of your items, your trinkets that you want to showcase to all your friends. And I think that this room can be really unique if you convert it into an entertainment room, a movie room, or even a study room. So let's back up a bit. So what if we're talking about it as an entertainment room? Over here, you can put up a very nice TV console or you can put a very big TV over here. And as we move left a bit, you realize there's, there's so much space here that you can put a big size bed or some couches, bean bags. You can sit down and use this as a place where you play games with your family, PS4, Xbox, or watch your favorite movies, Netflix and chill. But, 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 even with this odd shape, this space here is big enough for you to put a queen size bed so that if you want to convert this into a guest room for your guests or for your elderly members who come over to have a day and night or a night stay with your grandchildren is perfectly possible as well. So now, follow me as we go to my favorite part of this entire unit. Let's go! Right, it's your oh, part. Coming. Oh, so fast, huh? You sleeping, ah? Uh? Ah, no. Why am I not sleeping? I'm in the most exciting part of this entire home tour. I'm not sleeping. Now, come on in. This is the master bedroom. And on my left, is a master ensuite. And I, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Greg, what's the difference? Every master bedroom has an ensuite, but this master bathroom is different. It's huge. It's well ventilated. And most importantly, it offers you a lot of potential if you want to make this the nicest bathroom. This has all the space for you need to do. But come on in. On my right, you can see there's this very exotic looking wallpaper. And I know what you're thinking. What if I don't like it? No problem. That's why you can change it to what you like. But if you're a fan of oriental looking things, this is perfect for you. Now come on in. As we explore this master bedroom even more, on my left, you can see size for a king size bed is totally available. And there's so many panels or windows that let in so much natural light and so much wind because it's north south facing. So again, my favorite, you don't have to worry about the morning or afternoon sun affecting your beauty sleep. But hey Greg, you must be thinking, what's this? Hey, are you ready for this? This is another two, two more panels of really, really big windows. So what it does is it makes your master bedroom potentially the master bedroom that is the brightest in the whole of Singapore. And why is that good? so much good feng shui. Don't you love it? I love it. Now look, oh, right behind me you have three floor to ceiling height panels of wardrobes and if you don't like it, you can change it. But the most important thing is the provision for space is done and over here, the panels, you can put a very huge size TV. It can act as your TV console area, but if you don't want, you can put up all your achievements, your awards, so that you, before every night before you sleep, you can look at your child's achievements and go to sleep knowing that you are a very proud parent. So the Aspirus is a 99 years leasehold that was completed in 2006, less than 10 minutes right away from Pasir Ris MRT. Nearby amenities include White Sand Shopping Mall, as well as the renovated Downtown East, where you can go to find movie theatres and various restaurants. For families with school-going children, the Aspirus is close to Pasir Ris Crest Secondary, High Sing Catholic School, Pasir Ris Primary and Loyang View Secondary. So the unique feature about this particular stack is that our unit is closer to Seashell Park, which makes our unit much more serene as compared to other units within the same development. 
For drivers, the Aspirus is easily connected via the PIE, which can bring you to Changi Airport in under 10 minutes, where Jewel is, or you can head towards town in approximately 25 minutes via the KPE. Hey, thanks for the shoot, Asmin. Bye bye, see you all. Hey, Jervis. What? He forgot about our last part, like. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Greg, what do you like about this property? Jervis, you always ask me the same question. But this property is not bad, what? Yes, it's not bad, but you always ask me the same question. But I like it. See, so big, 1184 square feet, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. How can fight? Even for sitting around, outside. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay, lah. I still, I still feel like I need to do it because yes. I really like something about this property. What do you love it? I love the greenery view. So nice. I think it's really very quiet yes. because you know it's facing Seashell Park. Correct. So it's it's, a, it's the best unit. It's the best part. Correct. Yeah. And it's very breezy also. Exactly. I love it because it's also unblocked and that's amazing. All right. Anyways, today is going to be a very casual shoot, so I'm not going to sit down. I'm going to ask you what you like about this property. But anyways, if you love this video, remember give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave us some positive comments, and if you love this unit, most importantly, you give our listing manager a call. All right. Haven't been receiving a lot of calls from you guys, so please do give our listing manager a call, right? Thank you so much for watching yet an episode of Jenny.